Hey, welcome to this very brief tutorial where I will be explaining to you how you can host your own uh, Team Fortress 2 server, especially dedicated to the uh, Man vs. Machine part. Um, Man vs. Machine is a new mo uh, mode for the Team Fortress 2 and a lot of people want to try it out and if you try to join just a random server, wait times are between 10-15 minutes, yesterday it was even 30 minutes, it's crazy. I actually value my time so I decided why not just host my own server? So in this video, I'm actually going to explain to you the really the easiest way how you can uh, host your own Team Fortress 2 server. And in the next video, if there are people that want to know, I can make a tutorial on how you host a dedicated server on Linux. It also works on Windows, but Linux is better. Okay, so you've started up Team Fortress 2 and you're ready to go. So there's one thing that I cannot show you, and that is how to port forward your router. Uh, I'm going to give you the ports and the thing that you'll need to do is probably Google your router somewhere and look up how you port forward it. So, with that having said, um, you've started up Team Fortress 2 and you're ready to go and we're going to go to the tab servers and we're not going to click on servers, we're going to click on the little plus sign over here. So it says create a server. So, and then you get a new window and you get two tabs server and game and uh, in server you actually select your map and it's really easy these these are all the game modes and map names and we're going to scroll all the way over here to man versus machine and there are three maps and we're going to just select one over here okay let me go go to the game tab we're going to give it the name well this will suffice for now uh, max players this is actually important you always need to fill in 32 players here otherwise it's going to be clunky and not really working, uh, this has to do with the amount of bots uh, joining your map or something like that. So just 32. Server passwords, this can be handy, um, just select a random password you will remember uh, and you can always deactivate it later. So and the rest is pretty good, so click on start. And there we go, your server is up, and we go continue, continue. Yeah, whatever. So you can run around in your map. The only thing is though, your server is not online just yet. No people can actually join. There are two reasons. It's still private and you still have a password on it. And all of these two conditions classify it as private. So there are a few things that we need to change. So we're going to press escape and I'm just going to assume you do not have the developer console enabled. Otherwise you can skip this step. So. Escape, we're going to go to Options, Keyboard Tab, Advanced, Enable Developers Console, and you want this uh, ticked. So, OK, Apply, OK, and Escape again. So what this does is when we press the tilde key, so that's uh, on the left side of your one on the keyboard, there we go, tilde. Uh, this enables the Developer Console. Uh, there are two things that we need to change uh, in this developer console and that is uh, this command so there are two options for this command one and zero one means that it's going to be a land game and zero means that other people will be able to join like your friends or random people so we're gonna go for zero now the second command is because we still have the password enabled friends will be able to join now uh, when we do a map change so that's important to do the map change otherwise they still won't be able to join but if you want to have random people uh, in your server as well we need to deactivate our password to make it public so we're going to go same command over here and then do password you can already see the password here and our password was test but it doesn't really matter at the moment and we go none and then enter and we can actually uh, close the developer console. No, wait. Uh, we still need to do one thing. Uh, to, as I said, to activate these commands, we're going to do, uh, select a different map. So we're going to type in map, then the mode, underscore. And we already see the three available maps. And we're going to just select one with the arrow key. So go down. So your server has loaded up and everything as well. Friends can join you, random people can join you as well. So that's nice. Make sure that you know your own IP address. That's always handy to know. You can Google that like on websites like what is my IP. And friends will be able to connect to you if they open their developer console and type in connect 
namespace and then your IP address and they will be able to connect to your server. You can also send them an, an invite uh, through Steam that works as well. As you can see, people are already connecting to my server. So if there are any more questions, make sure you ask them under the video. And if I have an answer for that, I will try to explain and help you. Have fun playing and uh, see you next time.